Another dead end. Most gravel roads on the west coast of Norway are old mountain roads just like this. The west coast of Norway has some of the world's most beautiful fjords with surrounding mountains. Twisty roads with countless hairpins, beautiful valleys with glacial meltwater, huge waterfalls and some really impressive constructions. Every year we have thousands of tourists visiting some of the small towns that are located in the end of the fjords. We also have a lot of rain and poor weather, so each year you will see hundreds of fully packed adventure bikes heading over the mountain to the eastern parts of the country. And why would so many adventure riders leave such a beautiful place only to find flat farmland, endless forest and countless miles of straight roads? Is it because of the weather? Well, we do it for one thing, and the one thing only. Gravel roads. The one thing adventure riders just can't get enough of. If you want to be really adventurous, find even more gravel roads, you can continue further east to the land of the nomads, a place where dark powers roam. Sweden.
And when you're riding around on the trans euro trail, you never guess who you will meet up with in the middle of nowhere in the Swedish forest. I finally met up with Patrick and Johannes, a guy I've been chatting with uh, online for quite some time now. I stopped up and had a chat with these two guys before they continued their trip. And I continued my trip towards a known wind shelter place where I had planned to meet up with uh, Matthias. It's hard for me to describe how nice it is to actually meet Matthias, Chommi, as I call him, in person. But uh, today was finally the day we met up in the Swedish forest. Matthias has been a big inspiration and a huge influencer for me for what I'm doing. So uh, to finally meet him, you can safely say I was a little bit starstruck. Not long after, another friend of us came to uh, the same spot and uh, most of you probably know him as uh, Nomad Sweden or Robert. Well, what can you say? Two huge inspiration at the same spot at the same time. It's uh, really hard not to be a little bit starstruck. Oh, yeah, so boss. Yeah, yes. That's the big difference. Det är som att krama Dolly Parton här. <laughs> så det här. Och så, ja det blir ju som en Precis. helt plattform att stå på där. Ja, det... But it's uh, quite unique to finally be able to meet up in the forest like this. We have the same interest and passion for motorcycle and video. And um, to just sit around the bonfire, sharing great ideas. Uh, talking about uh, our experience about around certain stuff. Uh, yeah, we just had a really great time. I can hear banjos playing. Vet du en sak som är? När man inte kan hålla i händerna, det måste man släppa. Morgenskål. Well, cheers. Thank you for a great evening yesterday. And uh, let's not do that too often. <laughs> this was full. Uh, <laughs> No, we are full. <sighs> we are both a little hungover from last night, so we wait a couple of hours before we continue the trip. Matthias will spend the next couple of days with me showing me some local roads and trails I won't forget anytime soon. And this is the time I decide to not focus so much on filming, rather enjoy the great company and the trip for myself.
ser du Shumi? Har du varit skoj? Väldigt bra. Fett nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for this amazing adventure, Matthias. I really did appreciate it.